Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to make a Pokeball squishy. So what you'll need is a crush ball, anything that's pretty much white inside. This one was white and then it looked purple, so I'm not really sure what color it actually was. Some puffy paint, some latex gloves are optional. A razor is optional. I did not use that. I did use the scissors though. Some paint brushes. And you need two other things, but I'll show you guys those as we get on into the video a little further. So the first thing that you will need to do is trim the edges of the crush ball just to get the outer layer off. In this case, it was the soccer ball layer to where you could see the inside. You're going to be painting it anyway, so... Even though this wasn't fully white, it was like a very, very, very light tinted purple color. I was still painting it anyway, so it didn't matter. So right here, I was just getting it to the place where I wanted it pretty much. Um, you can't really get it fully smooth as you'd like it, but I did try my best. So here are the other two things you will need. They are parchment paper and long toothpicks. So you'll just need to put a piece of parchment paper down to pretty much put little dabs of paint on that you will be using, that you will be dipping your toothpicks and paintbrushes into. So the colors that you will need of the fabric paint or puffy paint are red, white, and black, which are the Pokeball colors. So here they are, black, red, and white. And again, these are the colors that you will be using. So the first color that I'm going to be using is black and I will be using a toothpick to put the strap around the ball first with the circle in the front. So I pretty much start off by dipping the toothpick into the black paint and just draw the circle. At first I kind of made like a light circle just so I didn't mess up and then I just went over it with the black paint a little darker and thicker. And then once I was finished with the circle in the front, I just went around the whole ball with a very thin line of black paint and I just kept going around until the strap was as thick as I wanted. And then I went to the front part right here as you see where the circle is and filled that in with white paint. And then right here I decided that I wanted the circle in the front to be a little thicker so I did go back and make the circle a little thicker with the black paint around the white circle. So the next thing I'm going to be using is picking a paintbrush and painting the top and bottom of the Pokeball and I'm going to be starting out with the red color. So 
So then I just put a little dab of paint and you can always add more, which I do. I always start out with a little bit and then if I need more, I will add some more just so I don't waste it because fabric paint is not cheap. So then I just go ahead and start painting the top or bottom, really doesn't matter whatever way you turn it, it'll be on the top or the bottom, but I just start by doing the, as you can see right here, I would consider it the bottom part red. You have to be very careful around the edges not to mix it with the black because it just won't look right if the colors are mixed. So I try to be very, very, very careful around the edges. So this is what it looks like when I'm finished with the red. As you can see, it looks really good. I was very careful around the edges and the colors didn't mix at all. So next I will just be putting a toothpick through the whole Pokeball and you will see exactly why I did this. There are two reasons and the first reason is it's easier for me to paint instead of holding the bottom where it's already painted or letting it dry for a whole day before finishing it. This is just the easiest way that I could figure out how to paint the top and the other way will be the way that I show you how it dries. So I just put some white fabric paint onto the parchment paper and I will be using the paintbrush to paint which right here is considered the top because it's the top but like I said before whatever way you turn the ball it really doesn't matter it'll be white on the bottom red on the top or red on the bottom and white on the top And just to be sure that I did not mix the white and black, I did go around the edges of the black with the fabric paint tip and kind of just like outlined it and went from there just to be sure, like I said, just to be safe. And it turned out really well. So this is what it looks like after I finished painting it. And what I did was, this was the second reason why I put the toothpick through the Pokeball. I used a ribbon that you would use to wrap presents with and tied it to the top. And as you will see, I do hang it on the coat rack in my house and let it dry overnight. As you see right here. So I just let it sit here overnight to dry just to make sure. So when I showed you guys the next day it was dry, which this was the next day right here and it was dry but it was very sticky still so it was hard to squish but I did the best I could without my fingers sticking to it. As you guys see it's very squishy, very soft, and like I said very sticky. So that is going to be it for this video. If you guys decide to try this or you've tried it before, leave it in the comments below. Leave your link and I will be sure to check your video out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.